Ja. Jetzt so. Ja. Do you want? <lacht> Division. Ja. Yeah. Cool. So, I don't know your background. Like, how did you get interested in doing stuff like this? Uh, well, actually, it kind of evolved, um, you know, when you're young and trying to figure out who you are and what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to work with light, and then I started working with water, and um, then I tried neon, and then I remembered um, when I was four, my brother came in my room and, like, he goes, hey, look at this, check this out. And he poured, like, a glass of water over the lamp in my room. Yeah. And so the light bulb, like, exploded. <laughs> and I remembered that later, so I started recreating it yeah, when I was in art cool. school, which was really cool. But I was, you know, like, on the second floor, like, pouring water down, mm -hmm. like, really far away, and nothing happened, so I got closer and closer. And I started doing light bulbs underwater in buckets and jars, and um, this is the first, um, like, public art like large scale piece I'm doing yeah so I actually wanted to use real Tesla coils and I research all my research was about how to how to make these and have them here but turns out at this scale they're pretty dangerous <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> like a home, like there's a lot of reasons not to have them here yeah um, I mean all the way from the fact that they're really noisy and um, it's more of a nighttime thing. I mean, you wouldn't see this kind of clarity in the daytime at all. Right. And also the radio frequencies from it could actually, like, interrupt someone's pacemaker. Oh. So there's, like, all these, and, like, any electronics in the area would just, like, really mess with, like, people's <laughs> stuff. So that's not the kind of thing you could have on long term. And the ones, there's actually some companies that make um, pieces this big for, um, like, public, like, museums and, mm. you know, special things. But to have somebody make one of these at this size that's actually safe and works in a public environment would be, like, $25,000 each. Oh, wow. So, whereas you can actually build one, you can make a homebrew for like two thousand dollars oh like all the parts okay but i mean these people have like you know like 10 to 20 years of experience working with this stuff so they actually you know because there's a million ways to make them okay so there was no safe way to do it here so i thought about a lot of different things i could put in the house and then i just came back around to the fact that i could just hang canvases in there and visually have the same effect without any of the problems. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, and um, when I was researching, I uh, I met a lot of uh, electrical engineers online uh -huh. and Tesla coil hobbyists. Yeah. And one of the guys sent me this photograph. This is actually a photograph of the Tesla coil he made. And this is like in his, you know, garage, um, just in the driveway of his house. So I just took the wow. photograph. He gave me the photograph to use here. I took the photograph from Photoshop. I like blacked out the garage in the back and stuff and just made it. Okay. Cleaned it up. Yeah. So he was really kind and donated that. His name was Ken May. And um, his friend Miles Waldron was uh, the one who was most interested in my work and sent me all this stuff. He actually sent me a huge box full of parts to start building my own Tesla clothes. <laughs> For free. Just in case. For free, which is so cool. So when I get the time, I'm definitely going to, like, make some smaller ones that aren't so dangerous. So you can really start playing with them. Yeah, and use nice. them in other pieces and performance yeah. work and stuff like that. So cool. should be really fun. I mean, the uh, one thing I didn't put in here yet is a uh, lightning rod. And that's kind of, you know, when I first came out and started looking around and thinking what I would do, mm -hmm. I really love um, uh, the lightning field that's out in Nevada, hmm. Walter De Maria. It's just like 200, like, steel rods out in the desert Okay. that just attract lightning oh, during wow. storm season. Oh, I didn't know about that. It's beautiful. So I kind of wanted to do something with lightning. 
So I started researching the physics of lightning, and I learned a lot of really cool things that you could do, and that's how I kind of came into the Tesla coil part. Uh-huh. So, so yeah, it was a pretty intensive uh, research, you know, that went on for like, you know, like six to eight months, and uh, came around to this. So. Wow, okay, cool. Yeah.